Hi and welcome to Next Tutorial. In today's lesson we are going to learn how to recreate this animated gradient text effect in Adobe After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to start off with a new composition. I'm just going to run with a 1920 by 1080 document. I need to create a new solid. So I'm going to right click and create a new solid and then I'm going to search up the gradient, the four color gradient effect. So now I've got four colors on here. So now what I need to do is I need to change these colors. So I'm going to a website which is called coolers.co and I'm just going to put these colors in and I'm actually going to use two lots of colors. So I'm going to start with this one. Cool. So now once I've got all those colors in, you can see that if I start moving these points, you can see that there's some cool stuff happening with the colors. So the next thing that we need to do is we need to duplicate these colors and we need to change that mode to lighten and then we're going to go and change these colors again. Cool. So now I've got these two sets of colors and if I start to move these things around, you can see what is actually happening there. Now if you want to change any of these colors, you can always go back into, this, uh, in, into these colors and then you can see that it changes automatically. So find colors that you find you know, suitable and like I said, if you need to change anything, you can always go back and change it. So. Once we've got our colors, the next thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that we're on the first layer and we need to start to animate these points. So I'm just going to click on these points and then I'm going to press U on my keyboard to bring up the keyframes and then I'm just going to move forward in time and I'm just going to move these points around. Now you don't have to move these points around that far but if you move them around further, then the animation is going to work faster. If you move them around shorter, then it's going to look a little bit slower. So it depends on your preference. So now I've got two sets of points and you can see that it's kind of bending and you know, it looks wavy, which is the effect that we are trying to achieve here. Now, my composition only goes for 10 seconds. If you want this to run longer, you can. I just copied and pasted the first frames and brought it to the last frames. So we can see what that kind of looks like. So the colors are kind of meshing into each other and that looks pretty cool. Um, the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to apply some other effects to this uh, color scheme. So what we need to do is we need to go and create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to search for an effect called Mesh Warp. So I'm going to bring that in. I'm just going to drop the rows and columns to maybe two and three. If you want more, you can always increase them. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on these points and I can move them around to create more of a kind of meshed kind of look. And then you can also change these handles to give it an even more warped kind of look. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these around and track some kind of warped effect. So the next thing once we've completed the mesh is I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to look up the effects uh, turbulent displace and I'm just going to add that on here. And now you can see when I start to increase the amount all right, it's already looking kind of funky and things like that. So, and then you can also increase the size, but if you go too high on the size, you're going to get these black artifacts in there. So you're going to have to be careful about that. So maybe I'm going to bring the amount to, let's say 120 and maybe bring the size to something like 300 and make sure you scrub through your entire animation to see if there are any black holes. And if there's no black holes and you're happy with what you have, then you can actually move on to the final part of this video. Actually, I can go up to 400. Cool. Now, the last thing we want to do is we want to animate the evolution. So I'm just going to click on the stopwatch, press U on my keyboard, go to the end of my composition, and I'm just going to press 2 in there. And so now when I go and preview that, I'm looking for any black holes. 
and so there's one black hole there so what I need to do is I need to bring down this amount and now that's gotten rid of that and so now that's looking pretty cool it's like a mesh of all colors so now once you're happy with that we can go and move on to the final thing which is to add the text layer so what we need to do is we need to highlight all of it press uh, pre-compose and we'll just call it gradient so now the last thing that we need to do is we need to add our text layer in here now that's pretty easy to do all we need to do is right click go to new text and then we can actually start to write some text so I've increased my font size I've put it up pretty big you know maybe like 700 800 I'm using the font Arzo Sans black because it's nice and thick so we can see the gradient in there um, I've also shortened the distance between the letters so the letters are actually touching slightly and then all I need to do is I just need to align that to the center of my composition and I'm good to go so the the last thing that we need to do is just make sure that we go over here and we look at the track mat and we just change it to alpha mat and once you if you've done this correctly then the gradient will appear only through that text and we get a nice cool looking effect like that so anyways guys that's it for this lesson thanks for watching and i will see you guys next time